Hey guys, welcome back to another video. We're here in the F-14 Tomcat here today and we're going to be dogfighting the F-15 Eagle. This is obviously one of the more challenging fights for the Tomcat. Uh, one of those, maybe the F-16 is the only hardest one into the merch here. And looks like we are going two circle. I'm going to go vertical. So the F-15, uh, very good one circle fighter, very good two circle fighter. Uh, I think a lot of people would be kind of, you know, surprised by how close the flight envelope of the F-15 is very similar to a flanker in a lot of ways. Uh, still probably a little bit superior in the two circle and the flanker a little bit better in the one circle. But generally speaking, they're very, very similar aircraft. Uh, so I'm going to literally treat him as if he's a flanker, sort of. Um, and we're going to see how that plays out. Try to keep him two circle. Actually watch this, rudder and one circle. There we go. Bet he didn't see that coming. And then just try to keep the lift vector on him and roll with him. Looking good. Alright, look at this. Rolling with him pretty nicely here. Ooh, almost killed him right there and then. That's as quick as a dogfight will end right there. And then he's going to try to flip the tables on me. I'm going to climb over the nose there. Almost had me. And I'm just going to roll it. We're going to stay in this roller because it's not going too badly for me. Other than the, the fact that he took a shot at me there. But kind of saw that coming anyway. But that doesn't look good. So we're going to start dropping our nose because he's about to take my six. Got my six for sure here. Extending away. Okay, he's dropping his nose way below me, so I'm going to use that to roll around him and see if we can force an overshoot here. Uh, or at least, you know, neutralize into a one circle or something here, which is actually working. He's out in front. So remember that one of the axioms of dogfighting is that you must maneuver in relation to your bandits and uh, he who loses sight will lose the fight. So very important to maintain visual the entire time. For anybody who doesn't know what an axiom is, it's a statement uh, which is regarded as being established, self-evidently true, right? And you know, you have to admit that if you lose visual, it's very hard to fight something you can't see, right? So that's pretty self-evidently true. <laughs> Therefore, it's one of the axioms of BFM, one of the most basic principles. Um, so here he is. Looks like he's trying to do some one circle fighting here, and I'm not gonna, I'm not having none of that. Just trying to keep him in that two circle, avoid that eagle nose. And then now that we're on the deck, I'd like to see if I can get a two circle going here. Let's see what we can do with that. And remember, just because you know, someone's aircraft is better than yours in a two circle or a one circle, it doesn't mean that they're always going to be superior. At the end of the day, pilot skill matters, right? He can be an F-22 if he doesn't know how to fly it. If he doesn't know how to rate fight in an F-22, you can outrate him in a Tomcat, you know? So that still matters. He needs to max perform his aircraft. Um, so I'm going to try to take him to a two circle and see how that plays out for me because in the one circle, uh, he is pretty decent. You know, I'm not really having a lot of luck in the one circle. So I'm going to force him to circle here. You see me constantly climbing uh, and pushing to his high six. And look at this. Oh, oh. Oh, across the nose. Yes, shot that engine out. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Alright, that's going to be it for him, I think. Is he still trying to control that thing? 
Oh, he is. He's actually still flying. No, he's not. <laughs> Never mind. I was like, oh my god, is he actually going to pull out of that? But I think he had a bit of differential thrust, right engine fire. So. Very good fight, though. That was a very good fight. Even though the I was you know I started off the video talking about how the F-15 and the uh, flanker are so similar in flight performance, for some reason the Tomcat in a guns only fight feels like it stomps on a flanker, but still at times struggles against the F-15. Uh, he's into the clouds there. He's gone. Wow. I wonder if we should go up there. I don't want to go up there. I'm going to stay below this layer and force him to come back down. He should be around here somewhere. I don't quite... Oh, oh there he goes. Wow, that's convenient. <laughs> okay, we crossed my nose, right? I was, I was looking in the wrong place. Technically, I had lost visual. You know, we talked about that. Um, I knew he would have to come down below the clouds at some point, but I'm lucky he came down the way he did. Uh, looks like he's now going to try to dip into those clouds underneath us now. Because he sees that I got his six. Yeah, so he's going. I'm going to follow that. I'm trying to guess where he's going to be when I come out of these clouds. How thick these clouds are. Here we go. Uh, oh, there he is. Got him. Okay, we're still in this fight. And I've got him in a two circle, so I'm in a good position so far. All we have to do from here is not screw it up. Look at this. Do that knife edge two circle fight that the Tomcat loves. I love doing this with the Tomcat. It just feels so right. Look at this. We are outrating him. We're slowly coming around the circle. When he's going to see that, he's going to start becoming concerned. I've got a lock on him now. He's going to tighten that down. I'm going to reposition just slightly using the vertical here. I'm going to pull the AB out. There we go. You know he was looking for that overshoot when he tightened down that turn and reversed. But now I'm locked onto a 6 and he is in super big trouble here. And those rounds actually landed right on target there. Very cool as he breaks into the vertical. Um, oh, some good rounds there. Oh, some good hits on the wingtip there. That F-15 is completely jacked up, and I am well within my rights to hit him with a Fox 2 at this point. And you guys know our Fox 2 rules. Once you've scored significant gun kills on the other guy, or gun hits, I should say, and the fight's basically over, you can just finish him off with a Fox 2. So that actually might be what I do here. Just to put him out of his misery, right? You guys are always in the comment section being, don't play with your food, don't play with your food. Okay. The Tomcat won't play with its food today. <laughs> we'll just get the, the Fox 2 kill here. There we go. Tone, Fox 2. Oh, it looks like he broke himself up. Certainly had an IR signature there when that Fox 2 hit him. <laughs> he was half on fire breaking up. All right, splash one eagle.
All right, one more round for all the subs who are always asking for longer videos. I appreciate you guys. I'm sure you guys have noticed we've hit 500,000 subscribers, so big thank you for that. I'll do a little shout out video later. Thank everybody. Uh, into the merch here. More into that one circle again, and again he goes into the clouds. By the way, check out those clouds. I, I don't know, people say that, you know, other sims have better clouds. I disagree. There he goes, he's just came out of the clouds there. I think uh, DCS has the best clouds I've ever seen in a flight sim. So shout out to ED for that. Very nice job. Once again in the two circle, let's see if he can do something different this time. Because he's been kind of getting killed in the two circle every single time. Let's see what the plan is. He's keeping his energy up for the most part, but... Here we go. Alright, here he goes. We're going to line up the shot now, possibly. He's trying to neutralize. We're just going to watch our closure. Almost had him there. Here we go. Right here. Where is he? Where did he... Wait, where did he go? Where did he go? <laughs> where... Where did he go? <laughs> oh my god. What did... He's on my. S oh! How did he get back? How? How did he get back there? Oh my god. Are there two? <laughs> oh no. Alright, alright. Okay, he's pretty angry. <laughs> I, how. I mean. Isn't that a good example of why you want decent visibility out of your cockpit? I don't know how he. I don't, I don't even know what happened there. I don't know how he got behind me. He was in front of me one second, but behind me the next second. Never saw him. Never saw him. Great fight, though. Good kill. Good kill, the F-15.